Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rinku Talks, and I just got done making a 30 minute long video going through every single setting in Black Desert Online, so that this UI layout becomes this UI layout. For anyone that wants some quick tips or a head start to optimize your gameplay experience, this video will cover my priorities. In the first tab, performance settings and graphic and textures is actually the same as display settings display quality and has no purpose because display settings display quality has additional settings. In display settings display quality, you can click AMD Fidelity Super Resolution 1.0 and then click FXAA anti-aliasing before hitting apply to bypass the part where the game forces you to use TAA with AMD Fidelity Super Resolution 1.0. In display settings effects, and all the way at the bottom, you can choose color vision aid. Even if you're not colorblind, you can enjoy this because it gives you a white HP bar and yellow MP bar, as well as changes a few other things. In display settings camera graphics, you want camera vision range 100. This allows you to zoom out like everyone that you see playing video does. Also in that same section, make all camera effects zero so your screen is not shaking like crazy. You can also get rid of the watermark in all the screenshots you're taking by selecting no watermark in the display settings screenshot section. In general settings quality of life, you can click one button to separate and add additional quick slots, and in this section you can also enable simplify UI. By checking show stacked HP bar in general settings show hide, you can size up your opponent by easily seeing their max HP color. Are you tired of seeing a million campsites at events like the Termian Water Park? Well, you can hide other players' campsites here. Down here you can also enable the custom HP bar if you want. And then at the very bottom you can make your ship's mass transparent, which if you sail, you're going to want. Next one is a big one, go into general settings alerts and turn off everything. I mean literally everything. That is of course assuming that you don't want so many pop-ups that make you feel like you're playing a mobile game. In general settings language, you can turn off your chat filter. Oh, here's another huge one. Have you ever been hit by a monster while you're trying to change your skills around? Well, in general settings miscellaneous, you can turn off close UI when hit. There's two different options, just turn them both off and everyone's happy. Also in general settings miscellaneous, if you have a sick RGB Razer setup, turn this on. Also, send me pics. In edit UI, I hide everything except for my HP bar, buff bars, my chat, my quick slots, and my minimap with the server on top. The next part will be explained better in my next upcoming video if you're willing to watch a 30 minute video, but I have a lot of buttons bound to key bindings. For example, I have my call to horse bound to F1, my tent bound to Alt1, the search NPC function to Alt2, my fairy to escape 1, my maiden butlers to escape 2, my pet to escape 3, my worker to escape 4, and the list goes on. I'll probably be adding more things to my escape menu as I need them. I am sad to say that there are some things that you cannot keybind at all, and I will not be able to use them without showing the bars that I have hidden. So in my presets and edit UI, I do have a second option to show certain bars that have certain buttons that I otherwise cannot access. Please pearl this, just let me keybind these. Thanks. The things I really want them to let us keybind are activating your aggress, choosing your tagged character, opening your progression pass menu, showing the node war zones, voice chat settings, horse race info, and also showing a reminder for your dark rift and black spirit adventure, but I don't want any of the other buttons, I just want the things that I mentioned and I just want to be able to keybind them, push a button, maybe just have that one button without all the other ones somewhere on my screen, that would be cool too, but unfortunately, yeah, you'll have to turn off tons of buttons just to use these few features. There are tons of settings for Black Desert Online, and these were only the most important ones I could think of. They are organized in such a weird way, and sometimes a setting is shown in multiple locations, for example. So if you want to see me go through every single setting that I have set up for my account, look out for my next video. And something else I'll also go in depth at the end of my next video is that Pearl Abyss will listen to your concerns. That's actually the biggest way to make changes in the game is by having enough people complain about it. So if you are like me and want to see more improvements about these settings, then feel free to post it in your comments below. I mean, if there's a hundred comments saying the same thing, they might take it seriously. Alright, I hope these quick tips helped. I love you and I will see you next time.